Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Game Performance Review Time. We are testing this game today on two different laptop computers. The first laptop computer, the HP 14 inch notebook computer for $200. And the second computer is the $350 Acer Aspire E15 15.6 inch laptop computer. I have previously reviewed both of these computers Links to those reviews and the full playlist of videos on each computer will be linked in the video description below. So if you'd like to know more about these machines, other games I've tested, unboxings, first boot, Windows performance, go check those links out. We are playing today at 1080p full HD resolution using multiple detail settings with anti-aliasing and VSync turned off. Fraps was used for the game performance numbers you will see at the end of this video. It was not used to record the video you're watching. Instead, the video was recorded using an Elgato HD60 Pro hardware capture card installed in a different computer. There is no effect on the frame rate because I captured the video since it was done completely externally. The numbers in green at the top left corner of the screen are from MSI Afterburner, a free program you can download from MSI.com and use to see real-time information on how your computer is performing, graphics, memory, CPU, etc. If you take a look in the upper right hand corner, you will see that right now we are playing on the $200 HP laptop with the Radeon R2 graphics and we're playing at very low detail settings. Now looking at the top left at the real time numbers from MSI Afterburner, you'll see several things. The first line is the graphics chip on our AMD processor. You will notice that it bounces between very little usage and 100% usage. We are actually CPU limited, not GPU limited. If you look at the third line, AMD CPU, you'll say, but wait, it's not at 100%. Correct, we have four processing cores. League of Legends only uses two of them. It's actually fully utilizing two of what's trying to use two of the cores. We are essentially resource and processor limited here. System RAM is fine. We have four gigabytes, three and a half available. We're using 2.4. System RAM at four gigs is fine. And you can see our real time frame rate is bouncing between 50, 51, 52. It, it varies throughout the game. We're just under 60 frames per second. The video RAM is just over 300 megabytes. We have half a gigabyte or 512 megabytes dedicated to the GPU from our main system RAM. So again, that's fine. The game is surprisingly playable. What happens when we change the detail settings to medium? Now, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice I just changed the detail settings to medium. You will also notice that the frame rate's about to take a drop. There we go. 36, 37 frames per second. So we were in the mid to high 50s, changing the detail from very low to medium drops that down to the high 30s. It is worth noting that it is still completely playable. It's very controllable. It's very responsive. When you press keys, everything moves. There's no lag. So even though the frame rate has dropped off, the game is still very responsive. Interestingly enough, our GPU usage, while it stays up at 100% more often, still drops down from time to time. We are still CPU limited. This is a $200 laptop. Please keep in mind it's a $200 machine. It has its limits. The main system RAM usage did not change, but our VRAM usage did. Take a look at line two. We added about 100 megabytes of GPU usage to go from very low to medium detail. Still acceptable, however, I I'm not going to show it to you. I did try changing it up to very high. It was completely unplayable in any respect. It was down in the single digits of frame rate. So medium is about the most you can do on this machine. Many people say League of Legends will run on anything. Well, it will, but not necessarily at very high detail, but it does play very nicely. So if you want to buy this $200 HP laptop and play League of Legends 1080p, either very low, low, or medium detail, depending upon your preference of frame rate and appearance, it runs just fine. It's very, very playable. I had no issues whatsoever. Really briefly, I wanna show you the end of the battle because I want you to see the frame rate drop off as we get to the end when there's a lot going on. Take a look, we dipped down below 20 frames per second, but it took everything on the screen to make that happen. There are moments where it will do that, but most of it is very, very playable. Now we're on the $350 laptop. We are gonna start off at medium detail, the same settings we ended the last video at. 
I did not bother playing this at very low. There's no point. You'll see why in just a second. One of the questions often asked is, what do you get when you spend more money on a computer? Now, this is a $350 computer. It's nearly twice the price, but it's faster. It has a faster CPU. It has a faster graphics chip. It's larger. It's 15.6 inches versus 14. That doesn't affect performance. That's just a size issue. One significant difference is that it has eight gigabytes of RAM instead of the four gigabytes in the first machine. Does it matter? No, not for these purposes. I did upgrade this machine. It actually only comes with four and League of Legends would run fine in four. It's about $30 to upgrade the RAM to eight gigabytes and for a $350 machine, that's pretty reasonable. That upgrade is needed more for multitasking, opening 10 tabs in Chrome, playing World of Tanks, and some other more things. It's not needed for League of Legends, so if you just want to play League of Legends, you can buy this $350 machine without upgrading it. How's performance? Take a look at the real-time numbers. Our frame rate is currently almost 100 frames per second. At medium detail, the $200 laptop was struggling to do 40 frames per second. This is double the performance. Take a look at the usage of our CPU and our GPU. Now, I mentioned that League of Legends only uses two cores. That's true, it does. If you look at the i3-7100U CPU, you'll see we're at about 50%. But wait, you say, it's a dual-core CPU, but it's hyper-threaded. There are four threads, so Windows reports 50% usage as using two cores, 100% usage is using all four threads or hyper-threading. So League of Legends is really only using two cores. Take a look at the HD 620. We're pretty steady at 60 to 70% usage. We are CPU limited here. Even with an i3 7th generation KB Lake processor running at a fairly respectable 2.4 gigahertz, we are still CPU limited. The graphics chip, integrated graphics, cannot keep up. League of Legends is a fairly CPU intensive game. Now, some games care about graphics more than CPU. I will show you some of those in another video, but this one really wants a lot of CPU power. So faster CPU if you want more frame rates. But let's be honest, this is over 100 frames a second, but it's a medium detail. Let's switch the detail to very high and see how well that performs. So here we are switching to very high detail. It's important to make this comparison because what I want you to see is that our CPU usage does not change much, but take a look at our GPU, our HD 620 in the upper left-hand corner. We went from 60 to 70% to 80 to 90% usage. Our frame rate dropped a little bit, not much. Notice our main system RAM usage went up, why? Our VRAM usage went up, our shared usage went up, and we are now doing more detailed graphics. We are right at the four gigabyte limit. So if you buy this laptop and you wanna play at very high detail, will it play with four gigs of RAM? Yes, it will. Eight would be better, four really is fine. It's right at the limit, but it would be okay. And our frame rate is a nice smooth 60 frames per second, even with all of that going on the screen. I'm showing you the end of the battle here to show you all the minions firing. This is intense as it gets basically, and it's at very high detail, and we're still above 50 frames per second, even with all that. Victory! How sweet is that? Why don't we go take a look at the results? So how well did these two computers compete? Well, first of all, I've highlighted the medium runs in yellow in the center of the screen. 43 frames per second average versus 97 frames per second average. Now, both of these battles were over 20 minutes long. I did record the whole thing, but I didn't show it to you because it would just make the video too long. So these averages are spread out over a lot of the game. The $200 HP 14 notebook averaged 43 frames per second, which is completely and totally playable. However, the Acer Aspire E15 does 97. It's more than double. Perhaps just as interesting, take a look at the two numbers in white. At very high detail, the Acer Aspire E15 is faster than the HP Notebook 14 is at very low detail. This is the difference in CPU power between these two computers. The Acer Aspire is more than double the CPU performance of the HP 14. Even though it's only a dual core chip, it's a much better dual core chip and it makes up for it because of the fact that it's a much more modern, higher clocked processor with more performance. That being said, both machines are completely playable. Which one is right for you? Depends on a lot of other factors besides just this result.
Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below this video, questions and comments in the comment section below, and as always, check out the video description. Links to my reviews and full playlist on both laptops will be down there. Links to Amazon where I bought these computers and so should you will be down in the video description. If you like this video, if you like my channel and you want to help me out, the video description and the links are where it's all at. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.